my advice to him is that he's only unstoppable if he's operating within the law. The moment he steps outside the law, he's stopped by the constitution. And he's not an emperor. He's a servant of the people. He's not a king. We are elected to serve and he answers salary. He's not a regent, he's not a king. So he should not begin fooling himself that he's a king that's going to rule that he runs this country like a private coast. You have seen his obsession with roadside road declarations. Wherever he goes, he's declaring projects, declining projects. What what happens to the budget that the parliament passed? So all these things are there. And the fight we are having now is a fight over chapter 12 to make sure that the public finances are protected, public assets are protected, and we are going to do everything possible to remove money from his control because the treasury as it's constituted now is unconstitutional. The treasury is not supposed to be under the Minister for Finance and therefore under the President. It's supposed to be independent and serving the 48 governments, the one national and the 47 county governments equally. So those are the things we are going to take up. A budgetary corruption and using the budget to steal from Kenyans, we are going to fight and stop it. Money that, money that has been stolen in the past through the budget, we are following it and we are going to follow those people. Article 225, clause 6, is very clear that if you are in political office or in the civil service and money is lost under your charge, you are liable, whether you are in office or not. So we want to invoke these clauses and ensure that the assets of the people of Kenya are protected and their, fund, uh, their taxes are also protected and are accounted for. So the president should stop fooling himself that he's above the law. He's not. We are going to ensure that he, he rules this country or he governs this country according to the law as a servant of the people and not a master of the people. So he should stop issuing threats. The sword was given at uh, Kasarani for the ceremonial sword. Our national anthem, if you think that sword is going to penetrate the republic, you should listen to the national anthem, which says that justice be our shield and defender. So that sword that he thinks he's going to be proud of cannot penetrate the demand for justice and the right to justice that Kenyans have. And the custodian of justice in this country is the judiciary. And we are going to make sure that what is rightfully ours remains rightfully ours, if he changes course and uh, rules this country according to the law, we shall support him. But if you want to rule this country as a rogue individual, we are going to stop him.